Have you ever seen images like this and then think, how did they get images that look like that? Sometimes it's all in the details, which is why really good photographers can make a lot of money. They simply know what cameras to use, how to use them, and what exactly they excel at. And the best photographers strive for the coveted Hasselblad Award, one of the most prestigious honors, but it's also known as the Nobel Peace Prize of Photography. And today, I'm gonna turn you into a Hasselblad Award-winning photographer. Well, kinda, it's actually gonna be the AI doing all the work. And all you need to know is just what to say. But that just may be the problem. What if you don't know exactly what to say? Well, no worries, because you're in luck. That's exactly what I'm about to share with you in this video. Here's step one. The first thing you need to do is just know the name of a camera. It can even be your iPhone. That's not necessarily ideal for what we're trying to achieve, but nonetheless, anything works. But to really make the most out of this prompt, we're gonna head over to my new unique keywords database. Now, this is still a work in progress, but it's gonna contain a ton of useful information. It's gonna contain everything that you specifically need to know to generate the best looking images, specific cameras, certain keywords, words, prompts, everything that you may need to put in that very important prompt. So utilizing this specific word will generate an image that looks like this. So using these specific cameras and or lenses in your actual prompt is going to create a ton of amazing looking images. These unique styles are actually known to the AI. That's how I was able to get an image that looks like this. So the first thing, let's just go ahead and find a camera. I can see what this camera is superior for, look at the details, and now just come in here and then just copy this exact name. But even if you don't have this database or don't even know what cameras to use, no worries. Because a simple Google search can help or a chat GPT search, where you can simply just go into Google and type in something like this, what camera takes great editorial photos? Okay, so perfect, we now have our camera. And so one quick thing, this trick and this prompt I'm about to share is also gonna work not only with cameras, but also specific lenses. And now the next step is to head over here into ChatGPT or even Claude. And so here is where the fun really begins. Paste in this prompt right here. Don't worry, I know this prompt is long, but I'll also include it in the description as well. The link will go to my blog post over here. In fact, every single blog post on my website is going to have literally thousands of prompts that you could find. Scroll down and I will put it inside one of these boxes like you see right here. Each box is one full and complete prompt. And that's exactly what we did in ChatGPT. Here is the full prompt. You could see it right here. You are an Hasselblad award winner, the best professional photographer in the world. Now, all you have to do is just follow the instructions. You could see it simply right here. Absolutely, I'm ready to step into the shoes. And so to begin, what is your camera or your lens? And now you can see right here, I just simply put Hasselblad H6D-100C. Perfect. And now just like that, ChatGPT is gonna give me two responses. Now you might not get these two columns every single time, but nonetheless, it's gonna give you everything that you want. It's gonna provide some information on what these cameras are best known for. On the left and right hand side in response one and two, you could see it there. Best uses for Hasselblad, studio portraits, fine art photography, and as I scroll down, the best part of this whole entire thing. That's because in this specific prompt, I actually told ChatGPT, not only provide the details of what this camera is best known for, but also provide me with an example prompt I can use in AI text to image generators relevant to that camera or lens that really showcases its best features. So anytime you utilize this prompt and put a specific camera in, you're gonna get an amazing prompt that is gonna work specifically for that camera to generate the best results in what that camera is best known for. So as we can see here, look at the in-depth prompt and the specific adjectives that were used. Beautifully done, okay? Now we're gonna test these images out in a second just to see how good of a job it did, but look at this right here. I just simply put down here, next camera, iPhone 16 Max Pro. Now let's select enter. Let's see if it knows what this is and if we can get some good looking prompts. Here it is, it says it right away. The 16 Pro Max is Apple's latest flagship smartphone. Okay, so it's up to date on the information. Here are all of the key features, optimal use cases, and then again, here we go, a text to image prompt right here. We'll paste this one in and we'll try this as well. Now, going down, we'll keep it going one last time. I'll choose one more camera, but then let's also choose a lens, okay? Next camera, red Komodo 6K. Okay, there it is in ChatGPT. Let's see the level of details we get now. Compact professional cinema camera, renowned for its cinematic quality. 
There's the best use cases, and then there it is right there, the beautiful prompt that we're gonna try. Now, let's go ahead and try a lens. And I think we'll try this one right here. Come in here and copy the whole entire thing. And now we're gonna head back over to ChatGPT and now paste this lens in. Next, I said I have a lens. There is my lens, I just pasted it in. And now look at this, it's gonna provide the details as well. Okay, legendary lens in this lineup, celebrated for its perfect blend of sharpness, creamy bokeh, and compact design. And then finally, there is an actual prompt that we could use. The camera is definitely mentioned in the prompt, and now we can generate a few of these images. And then last but not least, the final details, let me know if you'd like me to adjust the prompt or create another scenario. You can keep saying create another prompt, create another prompt. You can get as many prompts as you like for each lens or camera that you use. And so you can see right here, just look at these phenomenal and high quality looking images that this specific prompt generator is responsible in making for me. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.